All right, for this video, I just want to go through the final check. So we have the elevations. It looks like this. We have the next slide should or the next page should be a floor plan, an exterior rendering, and a section view with everything labeled. This is OK. These pictures are not correct. They're just examples. Next one is a floor plan with the uh, room tag schedule. The next one is the electrical plan. Notice everything is half tone. And then the electrical plan is in black. We have a plumbing plan where you can see the different lines. Blue is cold water, red is hot water, and green is sanitary sewer. Again, I'm missing some labels and stuff, but this is just as a model. I have the door and window tags and schedules. And then the last one are some interior views that I rendered, OK? So what you notice now is right now it just says owner, project name, that sort of thing. So what we're going to do, uh, what you would need to do is go through, fill in this first title block, put uh, the who's going to own the house and the name of this project. And then you can put any project number you like. And you can put today's date your name and checked by you can put mr huff and just fill that in again here and on 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 here it's attention to detail at this point so i should see the same owner and project name and the same information in this in the real world if you had different people doing the different drawings you would have different authors and different checked by uh, but you can just use me as a checker and you as the author and that will be enough on that uh, when we're done you're going to export this as a pdf so i just realized something we don't have dimensions on the floor plan so let's go to the floor plan zoom out a little bit i'm going to turn on the crop region view so i can see where we're at and really all i need is i just need dimensions across the top and one side that's all i want to see so what we're going to do is go to annotate and we're going to go to aligned and i'm just going to click from one corner to the next so you're just going to go from wall to wall and then we're going to go from this wall to this wall. Make those click together. This wall to this wall. And these are called chain dimensions. This is what you do in architecture. It's different than what you do in introduction to engineering. So that will give us the overall length of the house. And we're also going to do the same thing down here. Click the wall here to this wall. Pull it over this way. So that's our dimensions on the house. And if we go to our drawing, let's turn the view box off again. And if we go to our drawing of our floor plan, you'll see we have some dimensions on there now. I'm going to use my arrow keys to, after I select this, we're going to grab that floor plan and move it down a little bit. I'm going to center some stuff up. All right. Now, um, as I was saying, before that, the, we need to export this as a PDF. So what we're going to do is actually not an export. We're going to choose File. And we're going to choose Print. And in the drop down here for the printer, and I'll kind of move this up to the top so you can kind of watch what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to choose Microsoft Print to PDF or something that says to PDF. The PDF print driver should be on all of the lab computers. And another thing we want to change is combine multiple views and sheets into one file. We want a big single PDF. And right here, we want to make sure we're in the house drawing. When I did this before, though, I had to go move it anyway. So uh, I think we can set it here. So I'm going to put exported uh, PDF. All right. And then what I want to do is click on Selected Views and Sheets. And then I'm going to click this. And I'm going to go all the way through this. I'm looking for our drawings here. So I'm going to uncheck. These. So basically, everything that is a sheet that 
is your drawings. They all start with A10 something, okay, depending on, again, I don't care about the numbers, but they should be in the right order because they're coming, it's coming from over here. And you should have your elevation, your floor plan, your tags, your electrical, your plumbing, your door and window, and some interior views. If you don't have all of these, just give me what you have, okay? Then we're going to click OK. It should say views. It should look just like this. Click OK. Another thing I want to do is click on Setup. And right here under Paper Size, it's going to come up with Letter. Change it to Tabloid. And the rest of this looks okay. I like the high raster quality and colors. Again, this should be defaulted. And then you're going to click OK. And then you're going to click OK. And it's jumping right now. So even though I told it where to go, you may have to go click on Documents and go find your Revit project. So in my case, I have a folder called My Revit Projects. And this is my 2021 house. And just give it a name you recognize, exported uh, PDF drawing or something like that. All right, so we're going to save that. And it's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking. Then I'm going to go do Windows and E and open up a browser. And it's probably going to show it here as recent files, but if you need to go find it, it will be where you told it to go. In my case, Revit Projects. 2021 house, and then it's the exported drawing PDF. Let's open that. Uh, I have Adobe Acrobat on this computer, but you can see I have my exported drawing. I'm just going to go to the sheet where you can kind of see everything. That's not what I wanted. Okay, you can see this pretty much. So my first page is this. Be sure your title blocks are updated. That's one of the things I'm watching for. Uh, but here's the first one. It's just the elevations of the house. The second one is the floor plan, this dimensioned. Uh, you have a section view uh, that's labeled, and we know that that came from right here, but when we adjusted the sides, that section view marker went away. And I have an exterior rendering of the home so that we can see everything. Then I have the floor plan. I see a mistake. This should be room tags, and it has electrical in it. So I'm going to go correct that. But if you find review these, if you see errors, go fix them. I shouldn't see these electrical things here. So I need to go fix that and do it again. Uh, here's my electrical plan. Here's my plumbing plan. Here is my window schedule with schedules and my tags. And this is my interior renderings of the home. All right, so th that's the order I want to see them in. Again, this has a mistake on it. So anyway, just make yours match this, except for the mistake, and you're going to be good to go. If you are missing some of this, just skip it and put in what you do have. All right, that's plenty for this video. Thank you for watching.